So this YouTube channel has just been sitting here dormant uh, for the longest time. So I decided I'm going to start uploading on it and posting some of the stuff that I'm doing uh, or learning or utilizing at my role in Tertil as a head of marketing. So for those of you who don't know me, my name is Faisal. I run marketing at Tertil, an AI app with over 5 million downloads and also created Freshly Grounded, a podcast that has uh, 15 million downloads and views combined and has recently hit 100,000 subscribers. Uh, so now I can finally feel like I don't have to have imposter syndrome making videos, uh, talking about the tools, the hows and the whys of what we do. So that's what I'm gonna use this channel for. So if you're new here, welcome. Now let's get started. When you think of email newsletters, you might not be jumping out of your seat in excitement. But in this video, I'll be telling you why I believe that it's vital for you to be running an email newsletter for your personal brand or for your industry. Heck, I'm even making the prediction that it's the next big thing. The next big thing, Faisal, I hear you ask? Emails have been around since the 1970s. You're a bit late to the party. Well, be that as it may, I think the fact that emails have been around for so long and still remain undefeated and a stable form of communication is exactly why you need to start an email newsletter. And this video specifically is about a new type of newsletter made famous by the likes of Morning Brew and The Hustle, to name a few. This type of newsletter is what some people call a TLDR newsletter. The idea behind them is that they are short form newsletters that you can read within three to five minutes. Let's take a quick look at Morning Brew. Morning Brew is a daily email that lands in your inbox every morning with an overview of what's happening in the business and tech world. It's like your morning briefing while you drink your cup of coffee. The thing that makes Morning Brew so great is that they spend their resources and time researching and understanding the latest news in business and tech and then simplify it, remove all the unnecessary info and break it down to you every morning in an easy to read, witty newsletter. And that's another thing. The brand voice of Morning Brew makes the newsletter easy to consume with GIFs and inside jokes and subtle humor. It makes reading about business fun and consumable. But how successful can this be? Well, according to the report by Stacked Marketer, Morning Brew has 2.7 million email subscribers with a 40% open rate, and they charge $50,000 for a sponsorship placement. That's reported to have made them over $20 million in revenue in 2020 alone. Let's track it back and make this about you. Remember when I said it's not too late to join the party? Here's why. Two years ago, some of the engineers at Morning Brew created a brand new platform called Beehive. This, by the way, is not sponsored by Beehive. Beehive is an email platform that allows you to create your own version of TLDR style newsletters. It's created for that exact use case. You need zero design experience, it's super simple and built with the intention to create high performing email newsletters. To give you an idea of why I believe these are gonna be huge, let's talk a bit about Beehive. So as of September, 2022, they raised $4.2 million and have already reached $1 million in annual recurring revenue. This thing is growing fast, showing that the trend for these newsletters is not only just starting, but also the fact that you need to get on the bandwagon. Okay, so what kind of newsletter should you start? I think there's two types of newsletters. You can have a personal newsletter, which is what I've been doing with Freshly Grounded. So sending regular emails to our podcast listeners that are super easy to consume, they're witty and they drop a bit of benefit. This is great to build a relationship with your current audience. It gives them value and you can sell directly to them. And we'll be talking about monetization at the end of this video as well, so hold tight. The second type is the type that I think is gonna be huge. If you wanna scale and take over an entire industry, this is the exciting part. Just like Morning Brew have taken over the market of TLDR business and tech newsletters, there's ample space in every industry for you to become the go-to newsletter for your industry. An example of someone taking the Morning Brew concept and making it their own is Sean Puri, who using Beehive, by the way, started Milk Road. Milk Road was a, or is, a daily TLDR newsletter about crypto. The headline of the website was, get smarter about crypto with our five minute daily newsletter. Just like that, you need to be thinking about your industry and how you can create the go-to industry newsletter. For example, your headline should be, get smarter about working out in five minutes or dentistry or cutting hair or so on and so forth. And then what you do is you bring the latest tips and news curated for your industry in a concise, fun, easy to read, regular newsletter. Okay, so let's talk about monetization. Why should you start this? How does it make money? And how much money can it make? There's three primary ways you can make money with email newsletters. Firstly, you can build a great newsletter with a bunch of subscribers, great content, and therefore great open rate, and then simply sell the newsletter, as in sell the business. If you create an email newsletter about DIY with 1 million subscribers and a 50% open rate, you'll be in very good position to sell that newsletter to an industry leader like B&Q or Stanley. They would pay millions. Imagine them being able to access their, their exact 
customer fit right in their inbox, knowing that 500,000 people are gonna open that email every time. That would make them bucks. How do I know this works? Well, remember when I mentioned Sean and Milk Road, the crypto newsletter? Well, less than a year after launching the Milk Road, Sean was able to sell it after reaching 250,000 subscribers. Now, although he hasn't mentioned the exact figures, he did allude on his podcast to this being a multi-million dollar sale. For this to work, you have to get in early and become the industry newsletter for your industry. Start now. And by the way, if you plan to launch a newsletter with Beehive, please do use my referral link in the description. It doesn't cost you anything more, but Beehive will give me some kickback if you choose to go with a paid plan, which helps me create these free videos. The second way you can monetize your TLDR newsletter is through selling your own products directly. So when we decided to launch a paid community at Freshly Grounded, we used our newsletter to launch that initiative primarily. We know that the people subscribed to our newsletter are our most active listeners, and they wanna hear about FG regularly enough to opt in to have us in their inbox and so we cut a lot of the costs of marketing by simply selling directly in our newsletter. We didn't have to run any paid ads or try and target individuals who we think would be a good fit for that community. Lastly, and probably the most common and profitable way, unless you sell the newsletter, of making money is through sponsorships. But how do you get sponsorships? How much do you charge and how do they work? Well, your core goal with a newsletter is to have the most amount of people subscribed with the biggest percentage of open rate. The biggest percentage? The highest percentage open rate is a percentage of those subscribers that open your email. So anything like a 40 to 50% open rate is amazing and will help you sell sponsorships pretty easily. In fact, open rate is so vital for your sponsorships or potential sale of your newsletter that companies like Morning Brew will often send you an email asking you if you'd like to opt out and no longer read the emails. This seems counterintuitive to building their business, but really they don't want people who aren't reading anyway and negatively affecting their open rate. So once you're creating killer content with a great open rate, you can start approaching businesses who want to attract the niche that your email is read by. And then you can feature them in a section of your newsletter, for example. So how much should you charge? Now, this will depend on your open rate. The higher the open rate, the more you can charge essentially. But a pretty standard cost of newsletter sponsorships is around $25 CPM. Let's actually figure out the CPM of Morning Brew. Weird fact about me, even though I have a smartphone, I like to use a, cl a classic calculator. They have 2.7, I think we said, million subscribers. Is that 2.7 million? One, two, three, yeah. Uh, 2,700 um, divided by 50,000. Am I doing this math right? Okay, so if I've done the math correctly, which let's be honest, I'm not confident on, then Morning Brew have around a $20 CPM, roughly, uh, which means, which allows them to charge around $50,000. I don't know. Let's get... Let's carry on, okay? So where were we at? So pretty standard CPM, $25. That means $25 per 1,000 subscribers that you have. So with Freshly Grounded, we've had around 5,000 subscribers and a 40% open rate. So 25 times five is 125. So that's roughly what we've been charging uh, successfully to sell our newsletter sponsorship slots. Now, $125 doesn't necessarily mean I can afford a holiday home in Bali, but with a daily email, that's $3,500 a month. Let's say you've built an email newsletter of 50,000 readers. That means you might charge $1,250 per sponsorship. If you have sponsors on just three of your newsletters per week, you're bringing in $15,000 per month. Not bad, right? So how often should you release a newsletter? Some people do it weekly, others do it sporadically, but I think if you're planning to launch the go-to newsletter for your industry, and you wanna maximize your chances of success, then do daily. Become the morning briefing for your industry. If you're hitting the barbering industry, you want barbers everywhere to make it their routine to check your email every morning over their morning coffee, learning the up-to-date trends, tools, and news of that industry, right? Plus, daily equals more revenue once you start selling sponsorships. Right, that's all for me in this video. Do let me know your thoughts and if you found it beneficial and don't forget to use my referral link if you choose to start your industry newsletter. I will see you soon. Goodbye.